video, I am going to go do a teardown of this multifunction radio. The reason why I want to tear this down is because this type of device contains a lot of components. So I'm interested in salvaging for all these components. So let's get started. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up. And here we are, that's what it looks like inside. So I'm gonna go ahead and free the transformer that's inside, discard that bottom piece. Ah, I've got a telescopic antenna. I could probably make a theremin with that. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and free this motherboard. Wow, look at all of these components. Jam-packed full of these components. Lots of ceramic capacitors, capacitors, and diodes. And look, a full bridge rectifier. Four diodes and some ceramic capacitors. Big capacitor, resistors, potentiometers. I think underneath that wheel is actually a tuning yeah, that's for tuning for the radio. And this here must be the, yeah, there we go, a potentiometer. Yeah, this device here is for tuning the radio. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that board to the side and desolder it later. Now let's go ahead and go deeper. And here's the part that plays the CDs. Here's a switch, very useful. Eight ohm speakers, those are always very handy to use for something. Hmm, really cool. Okay, let's put those to the side. And now I'm gonna go ahead and free this little PCB. Ah. It contains six switches and a double seven segment display. Nice. Do some cool stuff with that. Plus it comes with these two red LEDs. Nice. And six push button switches. Okay, well I'm gonna go ahead and desolder that as well. Mm, this is a great find. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this CD drive apart. And here is a laser diode. Very cool. All right, let's go ahead and get these DC motors out of the panel here. And there we have it, all of the components that I've salvaged so far. Very useful. I didn't think all this would be inside of a radio, but hey, really cool. So now let's go ahead and go even deeper. Let's desolder everything. Okay, I got my laser diode. Now I'm gonna go and get this LED and these wires. Now I'm gonna go and free the switch. There we go, got the switch. Now I'm gonna go and get these DC motors out. There we go. Now I'm gonna get this double seven segment display and the push button switches as well.
And there, I've disordered the double seven segment display, the two red LEDs, and the six push button switches. Very good. I'm very happy with this, and I'm excited too, because I really like seven segment displays. I want to do some really cool things with this. Let's go and desolder more stuff. And here I have the main motherboard, and I'm going to go and desolder everything on it. Okay, so far I've gotten half the board desoldered. Now I'm going to go and work on the other half and get the components on there. And there you have it. I have desoldered all of the components on this PCB, except for these surface mount components, which I don't have a hot air gun to desolder. I gotta get one so I can be able to get those components as well. But yeah, completely cleaned out. Now let's go ahead and check out what I have found. Here are all the components that I got from that board and all of the other components that I got from the rest of the radio. Interesting. These are all very interesting and very useful. Can't wait to do future projects with all, all these parts. So now let's go ahead and analyze each part. And here are all of my components. I have right here 67 ceramic capacitors, all arranging between 10 to 104 picofarads, which is actually very useful and I can definitely use this for future projects. And I have right here 79 resistors. All of these resistors range between 10 ohms to 5k ohm resistance. Always useful to have a wide range of resistors as well, and I can definitely use these for future projects as well. And I have three Xeno diodes. And I have four regular diodes that are high voltage. I can definitely use these to make a full bit rectifier, a ceramic capacitor with three pins, an inductor, two inductors, three red LEDs, an IC chip, a laser diode with its lens, and I can do something cool with that and probably adjust the view of the lens. I have six push button switches, an on off switch that sticks on and sticks off variable resistors, a fuse, and a audio auxiliary jack, a potentiometer, a double seven segment display, and this device that you use for tuning the radio for tuning the signal. Not sure what to do with that, but I have right here a multi switch, a single pull triple throw switch, and I have 38 capacitors, all ranging from 1 microfarad to 3,300 microfarads. So it's a very big, wide range of capacitors. Extremely useful again for future projects. And there you have it, a teardown of a radio for salvaging for all of its components. Thank you for watching SciTai Tech. I hope you learned something new, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more SciTai Tech videos. Till the next tech, goodbye.